new bike has just landed in the studio and I am so hyped about this one. Oh yeah. It is Tuesday, August the 1st, 2023. And do you know what that means? It is my birthday. <laughs> That's right. And ADO have sent me a brand new electric bike to review. So this is the Air 28. And uh, by the way, I'm the first person in the world to receive this bike and to review it. So thank you, ADO. I feel very, very special. So what I'm gonna do today is I do need to go into work. So I'm gonna ride into my new decade of life with the Air 28 and I'm gonna film my journey along the way and I'm gonna talk you through how it feels, how it performs. Now I have had a few goes on this bike already, but I'm gonna be giving you my sort of initial first impressions. I haven't had enough time yet to do a full proper in-depth review like I would like to. So do keep your eyes peeled for that one and subscribe if you would like to see that because that is gonna be coming in the next few weeks. Now first, let's run through the features. The ADO Air 28 is a single speed carbon belt drive electric commuter that offers a low maintenance box ticker of a bike. The frame is made from aluminum alloy and comes with mud guards, bell, a 3.5 inch IPD color screen and an integrated front light. An additional basket and pannier rack are also available to add on. My basket is currently in the post, so I'll show you how that looks for the next video. The 36 volt, 250 watt Hall brushless DC motor can punch out 42 Newton meters of torque to pit you into first place as you fly off at the traffic lights thanks to its smooth torque sensor. The EU version maxes out at 15.5 miles per hour, but that goes up to 20 if you qualify for the international spec. In true Dutchy bike fashion, the wheel size is a generous 700 by 45 C with puncture resistant tires to keep you rolling. To maintain its sleek design, the battery is integrated into the seat post and is removable should you want to charge on the go or add an extra layer of security when you lock your bike up in public. The 28 offers a Samsung cell 36 volt 9.6 amp hour battery that has battery management systems in place to keep you safe. Range claims on this one is up to 100 kilometers on one charge with a charge time of between four to six hours. The front fork shock absorption is a welcomed bonus to the 28 and delivers an incredibly comfortable ride. However, the weight does come in at a slightly denser 21.5 kg. But interestingly, it doesn't feel this heavy, which I'll talk more about in a moment. Max rider weight for this one is 120 kilograms with rider height catering to up to six foot six. Brakes are hydraulic for all weather stopping power. And to find out about the latest price, check the link in the description below. Well, seeing as this bike is a step through, I get to wear a dress to work, which never happens. Happened. My birthday chic has been activated and I am going to be rocking my platform Doc Martens. Now, thanks to the very easily adjustable seat post, I'm able to just switch up that height so I can change between my different styles of shoes. Now, girls, you know what it's like. We like to mix up the shoes. We like different sizes, different platforms, heels, boots, trainers, you name it. This bike caters. I think we should get out of here and start talking about how this bike performs rather than my outfits. Let's go. It wouldn't be a birthday ride without putting a party hat onto my Lumos helmet. Look how cute it is. I might just have this every day. So I might have panicked as I was leaving the house and went a little bit extra by adding some balloons to the bike, but look. If you can't go extra on your birthday, when can you? First up, I'm gonna show you how easy it is to pick up this bike. So they've installed a handle into the lower part of the frame, which makes it really easy to pick up. Let me show you now. This bike is around 20 kilograms, maybe a touch more. And having this handle down here actually just makes it really easy because you can put the weight right down into your hand and your shoulder. Ooh, don't hit that. Maybe this wasn't such a good idea. Firstly, let's talk about the style of frame this is. So this is a Dutch style ride. It is a step through. So not only does it mean that you can wear what you want, but you are uber, uber comfortable. There is a reason why these style of bikes are incredibly popular. The weight of the rider is shifted into the hips and the legs and taken away from the shoulders and the neck like you would have with a more aggressive style of ride. And what that means is not only do you get super, super comfortable, but it also means that you have great visibility, not just in the vicinity, but way ahead. You may notice the frame is typically taller than the average road bike to get that upright Dutch style positioning. 
So storage wise, this is worth keeping in mind. I love the handlebars that ADO have chosen for this bike as well. That moustache style just means that you can spread what little weight you have in your arms across the bike, which adds to stability. Let's talk more about stability quickly. Firstly, you've got those large wheels, 28 inch. You've got the thicker tires. It really just helps you keep that traction with the road and keeps you stable, keeps you balanced. And like I said, with that weight going down the middle of the frame, it's so simple. Oh, this lovely sweet man is in the bike lane. That's okay. Like I was saying, everything is centered. Gravity, balance, centered. So it even means that me just swishing around on this bike, you just feel very in control. So this is a great bike if you are a beginner rider, if you're not so much of a confident rider, because you don't need to worry about your balance. You don't need to worry when you take your hands off to indicate like I can now because your balance is so centralized. Speaking of easy, let's talk about acceleration. So I've been through a few traffic lights now and I can tell you confidently, the stop start on this is sublime. ADO have really nailed the torque sensors talking to the motor to create this gorgeous natural feel. As you push down on the pedals, it doesn't even take a full rotation before you start to, well, I was gonna say feel the acceleration kick in, but no, you don't even feel it. It is that smooth. It feels like it's all you. There is no kind of clunk, no, oh, here I am, here's the electric assist. That oh so smooth feel is all possible thanks to the ADO G Drive 5.0, a brand new transmission system developed by ADO themselves in the lab. And ADO claims the carbon belt drive is 36% lighter than traditional chains, provides up to 98% transmission efficiency, has a longer lifespan, and operates quieter than a chain drive. The carbon belt drive torque sensor setup makes for serious competition to the likes of Cowboy's latest edition, the Cruiser, and Velaretti's IV, offering similar performance at a fraction of the cost. So right now I'm cruising along at 15.5 miles per hour, as is the specification that you have to have when you're in the UK and the EU. So I'm currently in level five assist. I am doing a range test on this bike as we speak. So if you wanna know the real world range, then make sure to hit that subscribe button because that in-depth video is gonna be coming out very soon. Just quickly on the display, whilst I'm at the traffic lights. I love it, it is just, feels a little bit fancy, a little bit extra. As you go through the different levels of assist, it changes colour, and it's the small things that count, isn't it? When you're spending money on an electric bike, you want to feel like you're getting the extras, you're getting something a bit plush, and it really does feel like that. As you can see, as I start to push down on those pedals, the acceleration kicks in, and I've left that poor gal in the dust. <laughs> oh, did I mention about potholes? No, because I can't feel them. The Air 28 has front fork suspension, which is adjustable, and it is dreamy. Now, ADO didn't have to do this. It always feels a little bit extra, like a few of the other features on this bike. But ADO have just gone and done it. They've said, how can we make this bike as comfortable as possible? And this is definitely a brilliant addition for that. I've had some time to think about who I think this bike is for, and genuinely, I know this is just, it sounds like an easy answer, but it is for everyone. Everybody that wants a comfortable commute, everybody that wants a bike that allows them to wear whatever they need to wear, to not break a sweat, and have those extra safety features like the removable seat post, which is soon coming with a lockable addition as well. So if you need to leave the battery, the seat behind, it will lock for another version, so just FYI. I'm so impressed with what ADO has to offer from the ADO Beast, which really nails that off-roady, chunky tire style of ride. To the Air 20, which is a gorgeous little folder that has been so popular with you guys at home. We do, by the way, sell the two of those on our store, electrohez.com. So if you'd like to take a closer look at those, I'll drop a link in the description below. And now this, the 28. ADO just seem to be able to nail every single style of bike that they put their mind to. ADO's bespoke rides are all possible thanks to their in-house lab. With this mammoth resource, they can develop new products, create new designs and test it all rigorously and build on iterations before bringing it to market. Like I said, this is a first impressions review. If you would like the in-depth version that will be coming out soon. If you want to see the real world range, if you want to see me try this out on the hills, different terrain. And if you have any suggestions of what you would like me to do to test it out on, then I can do just that. So drop me a comment and hit that subscribe button. Okay, I'm really close to the studio now. I'm gonna head on in. I see if anyone remembers it's my birthday. <laughs> oh, thank you, sorry, I didn't mean to.
just barge through. Anyone with balloons. <laughs> Thank you. I feel the love today. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, welcome. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, what a beauty. I'm talking about the ADO beast that that customer's going to test ride. Obviously, now this could be you. All you need to do is book on in and come on down to our London showroom for your very own test ride. And by the way, we now ship ADO bikes to Europe, America, and Canada. Don't say I don't treat you. Right, back to some meetings. Meeting done, lunch eaten, and now I'm about to go out with Cole to get some shots of the bike whilst riding because there's only so much you can get on an Insta 360. Now, before we go out, I actually want to quickly talk you through a very cool feature that ADO have added. To the naked eye, you wouldn't realize there is a secret slot in the bell, it's called the Streetwise bell, which means you can put an air tag or a smart tag into that bell. So should you need to lock it up in public and you're worried about it getting stolen and you don't know where it's gonna go, then you can have that as a nice little fail safe in case anything happens and you can track your bike. Very smart ADO, very smart. All right, Colbert, let's do this. Let's go. Thank you, sir. Madam, birthday girl. Birthday, dear Ailish. I can't hear it. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Woo! That's so cool. Oh my god. Oh, we did it. Yes, it. All right, let's cut the cake. Cut the pollen. Oh, yes. Yeah, the Oscar. Yeah. <laughs> Go on, give us a rating, how good is it? Mm, Colin, you just can't go wrong with a Colin. And there's no strawberry. This is so good. That's my birthday day done. Thank you everyone for coming along for the ride. I hope you enjoyed the day and got to learn a little bit more about the Air 28. I have to say, big things for this bike. I have only been riding it for a few days now, but I am so impressed with its performance, how it feels, how it moves. And I really can't wait to get in depth with this one and do some hill tests and really get that real world range. And if you guys have any suggestions of things that you would like me to do with this bike or test with this bike, then let me know down in the comments and I will be doing it over the next month or so. Thank you everyone for watching. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to give me a thumbs up so that it really helps the algorithm to push this video out to the people that need it. And if you're new here, then hit subscribe because there's lots more content just like this coming your way. All right, guys, see you later.